Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode on Beauty Within. It's your hopefully favorite combo duo, one oily, one dry. I'm Felicia. I'm Rowena. And the theme for today is out with the old, in with the new. So we know we always introduce a lot of new skincare products, new methods to you guys, right? But it's not often that we kind of go back and reflect on some of the things that we've been using and finished. So we have our kind of empties, our new favorites and something that we've been incorporating in. We're constantly trying a lot of different and new products and I feel like we want to also keep it fresh and exciting so sometimes when we say the same things over and over again about the same product we're like ah, we need to give you guys more fresh products. Content. When we were gathering items Rose like I have mentioned the Sioris Mist for years and years. That's kind of a good thing to us. That means that we've repurchased it, we've really loved it, and we just don't want you guys to get bored. And we want to thank Ololi for sponsoring a portion of this video. And if you guys haven't heard of them, they're an online store that really thoughtfully curates a lot of our favorite Korean brands like Sioris, Pyongkang Yul, as well as other array of brands that you might not have heard of. And they have a focus on more natural, clean K-beauty that I feel like it's harder to find or they have a lot of products that may be harder to find stateside. So if you guys haven't already subscribed, we hope you can subscribe and join us on our skincare journey where we talk all about not just skincare, but also health and body and mind. So without further ado, let's get into our... The oldies. The oldie, <laughs> but the goodies. Like the best of the best oldie of the oldies. So for the oldies but goodies, we have three products each that we've picked. For mine, I have the Dr. Wu sunscreen, the matcha hemp hydrating cleanser, and this, the lab serum. Fel, what do you have? I have the Then I Met You soothing tea cleansing gel and two Neod products that I'll get into soon, but Rue, you go first with yours. All right, so for my very dry and dehydrated skin that's turning a bit oily, or actually very oily because it's so dehydrated, this matcha hem hydrating cleanser has been my best friend. Like, I think we both went through so many tubs of this. This is actually a new tub, but like I just went through one, recycled it, and then when Fel was like, hey, let's talk about our empties. I'm like, I don't have much empties, but this is, you guys already know, one of our all-time favorites. It's super hydrating. It's a gel cleanser. It has matcha, which is super high in antioxidants. And there's also a bunch of very hydrating and skin barrier friendly ingredients. So this, I think for both Fel and I, it's like, a dream. And like, I've gifted this to my mom, I brought it back to Australia, and then my sister stole it. You know, I recommend <laughs> this to everyone because it's really one of those cleansers that suit all skin types. I think we've mentioned this now for more than two years. <laughs> the second thing is the lab, their Oligo Hyaluronic Acid Boosting Ampoule. This, I still have a little bit left. It's just this very beautiful, lightweight serum that blends so beautifully and so easily into your skin. It just feels like a splash of water. Wait, is it like a hyaluronic serum? Yeah, it's an ampoule. Oh. Same, same. Oh, it's an ampoule. ampoule. Yeah, ampoule serum. Compared to like the more watery, liquidy hyaluronic acid serums, this is definitely a bit more on the viscous side, but it's also super lightweight, blends super easily into your skin. And I think like ampoules in general, to us, they're essentially the same, right? You wouldn't use a serum and an ampoule necessarily, but they do say ampoules are like a supercharged version of a serum while being lightweight. Yeah, so this is super lightweight, odorless, colorless, very no fuss, no frills. Mm. So that's And that. I just also want to mention, just because Rue has like dry dehydrated skin, if you guys are combo or even oily, it's products like these that spread across um, whereas like it's okay for even me to like use. Everyone needs hydration. Everybody. Yeah. That song was originally written needs about hydration. hydration. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah. The last thing that I'll talk about is this Dr. Wu Sun Care System UV Hydrating Lotion, also with hyaluronic acid. If you guys know me, and if you guys have dry skin in general, hyaluronic acid is probably one of your besterest of friends. Besterest! It's pretty much done, but I've been, you know how when you get to the very end of a product, 
and you, you know don't want to use it. You know it's coming, <laughs> but then you just put off using it because you're like, I need to, I need to save you. So I still yeah. have like a very little left, but just okay. The way that it blends, I've sh I've shared this with you guys before, but it's so beautiful. There's a chemical filter that will put the name up because it sounds like a dinosaur to me. <laughs> <laughs> Tinosorb tin S. There's hyaluronic acid, there's also ceramides. That's really great for protecting your skin from moisture leaving, from outside things coming in and like wreaking havoc in your skin. And just the beautiful slight glow it leaves your skin after you put it on. It's a dream and it does not leave a white cast. It does not like make you feel greasy or oily after, which is something I feel like we both have grown to appreciate a lot and look for in sunscreens. Okay, what about you, your three babies? So those of you who don't know me, I have acne prone, oily, and very sensitive skin. Um, so everything that I recommend is kind of falling into that category. The first is a cleanser that I've mentioned also probably like for about a year and a half, two years now. The Then I Met You Soothing Tea Cleansing Gel. So why I love this is because the water is rice fermented water. Um, it's also got licorice root extract, green tea, and PHA. So the licorice root is just for those subtle like brightening effects, like, you know, to lift away dull skin without causing irritation and then the green tea is the antioxidant and then the PHA is a very very gentle form of chemical exfoliant so all of this formulated I mean I'm opening it to press it out but there's like clearly nothing in it anymore <laughs> but it's this like a beautiful brown like rich brown color and it's this jelly so I feel like compared to the crave it's a little bit more like um, it's held together a little bit it's not as a uh, watery even though the crave isn't watery right no this is a bit more like gummy here. Yeah, sure. maybe like gummy. Then I Met You has come up with so many other products that we're like also really excited to I'm try. I'm dying to try to all of them. Yeah, Charlotte Cho, come on the channel, please. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be reaching out. <laughs> so then the next is, you know my love for Neod. I mentioned this in a previous video. First, I have the modulating glucoside and then the multi-molecular hyaluronic complex. As you guys know, normally it's Rowena that's emphasizing the hyaluronic acid <laughs> toners and serums, but this is the only one that I've really used. And what it does is just really inject hydration into every kind of like layer of the skin in a way that's very, very lightweight. It's, it's like basically water, right? Like the consistency is just water. So it sinks really quickly into the skin, especially if you have oily skin, you know that's something that you look for. It leaves it plump, it leaves it brightened because it's hydrated. I know this is a little bit more expensive than you would normally pay for a hyaluronic acid, but I just feel like if you're looking for something that is going to complement your skin and work with your skin in the long term, as well as the fact that you're like a fan of hyaluronic acid, then this one takes the case on how many different complexes that is formulated in with it. Yeah, because if you want to compare these two side by side, this one just has the lower molecular weight. This is 15. And the texture of these are also very different. This is just like super fluid liquid. This is more like a, you know, there's a little bit of a to it. And the next one I finished is this one called the modulating glucoside. And this is really different to anything I've ever used. It's like that weird like uh, mustard color. <laughs> and the consistency is kind of like a watered down mustard, which is why I'm like, oh, what is this when I first used it? But basically what this is for is if your skin barrier is compromised, if it's itchy, if it's flaking, if you overdid it on chemical exfoliants and you just want that like tender loving hug on your skin to repair it back to normal, this is what the modulating glucoside does. It's there to repair because it's formulated with an oat ingredient, which we know really helps with calming irritated skin and itchiness. Then there's also ceramides as well as ginger root and just a bunch of other very like skin barrier friendly and repairing ingredients. It leaves a little bit of this like, not oily feeling, but you know, how would you describe it? Is it oily? I would say it's like 5% oily. It's not like oily oily, but you do have like a, a very light film and it will really calm down irritation. So if that's something that you're looking for, check out the modulating glucoside, people. So that is our oldies but goodies. Moving on to our new additions. In with the new. 
And with the new, we have the Sirorus Milky Cleanser, this Wonder Black Rice Serum, and a Pyeongkang Yul Cream that's just so amazing. Because Pyeongkang Yul is a brand that we are totally in love with, right? So I have the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Acid Toner, which I talked about, the Sirorus Stay With Me Day Cream, and the Dr. Suracol, this is their Royal Vita Propolis 33 Ampoule. Wow. Oh, I'm blown away by all of these, but you go first. First, starting with the Sioris Milk Cleanser, I feel like everything that Sioris does, just a huge fan of how they harvest ingredients at their peak season so it can be the most effective. Yeah, it's like batch by batch made. And I think that's dedication to the skincare game and to ingredients to have like the best ingredients for your products. So the cleanser also has the green plum water that you find in the mist as well as the macadamia oil that is also in the mist. It's great for all skin types, especially people with dry and dehydrated skin. And I just love that the texture of it, I can't, I can't really put into words. It's like, it's super silky, it's super velvety. It just very instantly spreads across your face. It's doing its job. It's very gentle, as I said. And it just washes off in two splashes, which to me, like, I love. And you're like, oh, whoosh, oh, whoosh, oh, whoosh, oh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> it's like, we're not trying to make a Neutrogena commercial here. No, I just trying to, I just want to go to bed. And then I think these milky cleansers are really great for you guys, especially with drier skin types and like sensitive skin types because there's no parabens or any artificial fragrances in any of the Sioris products and like all the ones that we've tried are so gentle. So does your skin feel like um, like that comfortable feeling after? It's that comfortable feeling on top of having a protective layer. So it's like extra hydrating and extra soothing. Okay, next is this Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Acid Anti-Wrinkle Serum. Just look at how cute this is. It's like a little bean and the mouse like ate the bean. Or it actually looks like that Chanel moisturizer. It's a rice. It's a grain of rice. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, this is the detail. same brand. It's the same brand as your toner that you loved. <gasps> Oh my gosh, okay. Now I'm excited. Tell so me more. This is the serum <laughs> form of that. So in here, there's a bunch of anti-aging ingredients, collagen boosting ingredients, as well as like a blend of really hydrating botanical oils. And there's also your favorite, the asparagus ferment that helps inhibit the tyrosinase. Yes! Oh my God. And then prevents melanin production, which is what Fel gets excited all the time when she talks about her rice toner. And it's in here as well. So you shake it before you use it. And it's this very beautiful lightweight fluid that I would say it's more in between a serum and a cream. Oh, it's like milky. It's super milky and it blends super easily, blends super beautifully, leaves your skin feeling so hydrated and so protected. Dude, I am like a fan of this Haru Haru brand and I'm so glad we came across it on their website because I wanna try everything. All right, the last thing from this section is the Pyeongkang Yul Ato, A-T-O cream. We mentioned this way back when we first talked about Pyeongkang Yul in one of our, was it most hyped? Yes. When we dug into the brand, we're like, wow. All the products are developed by Pyong Kong Oriental Medicine Clinic, and they believe that a healthy skin is like moisturized skin, and when your skin is nicely moisturized, it'll help balance all like the oil and sebum protection to create just like a very beautiful equilibrium. And this cream, this <laughs> cream, <laughs> it is, so luxurious in a not snobby way. <laughs> it's like very rich without being overpowering. It's very like soothing and hydrating. It's just like the perfect balance of everything you will want. So in here, there's ceramides as well as peptides, which we know is really great for protecting our skin barriers. Also honeysuckle, that's very calming and very soothing as well as macadamia oil that I feel like it's starting to be in a lot more products. I think in the K-beauty 
especially. But the way that the K-Beauty brands formulate it, it's like so lightweight. It's like a squalene or jojoba oil where it just instantly sinks in. But again, it's like these ingredients on its own can sound very heavy, but the formulation is flawless. Like it's there, it's protecting you, but your face can breathe. And I think that is... So those are my Olali picks for a dry, dehydrated skin. Back to you. As Rowena was saying, this is the toner. Oh my God, look how beautiful it looks in the sun. I'm dead. Wow, this gradient. I'm just such a fan of this brand. I can't believe that we haven't like found or heard of it earlier. So this is, yes, the Hari Hari Wonder. It's the toner form. It's like one of those toners that are a little bit thicker in consistency. It's not like a serum, but it sits in between. And it's so gentle while doing the most for something that's so subtly gentle. You know, it's got that asparagus ingredient that we will have on the screen, which helps with bright brightening and hyperpigmentation. So it's got the fermented black rice as well as the hyaluronic acid. And you know, anything that is fermented brings out the nutrients and extracts the nutrients from the specific ingredients. So our skin can like slurp it up way easier. So it just helps to maintain the skin barrier. It helps to heal. It helps to stimulate cell renewal all the while being non-irritating. So like, when I finish this, I'm just gonna keep using it. I feel like this is gonna turn out to be your serious time is running out for mist for me. Yes! Like, you will be sick to death of me, like my voice. Haru haru, wonder toner! <laughs> You're like, okay, we get it. Move on in life. <laughs> I will move on though. To this one, which you can tell is also very loved. So actually the interesting thing has been a while since I've been able to solidly use three consistent products over an entire like one to two months. Wow. And I feel like over those one to two months, my skin has been in the best condition it's ever been. This is the Dr. Circle Royal Vita Propolis 33 Ample. So it says antioxidant, nourishing, revitalizing. And on top of that, it's also super brightening. I think the combo of these two is really what like just completely evened out my skin. So propolis and royal jelly is the compound that's produced by bees and it is often formulated to help with like wound healing and also just restore skin barrier when it's in, you know, your skincare products. So it's just a really like nourishing overall brightening. And this, I don't know if it's just cause it's in this bottle that I thought it would be like an oily texture because it looks like a facial oil, but oh my God, it's just this like really lightweight serum. It's pretty watery, right? Yeah, and it just glides over the face after using a toner. I'll put this on and then just end it with a moisturizer. And it's got vitamin C, it's got vitamin B3, which is niacinamide. It's got vitamin B5, which is panthenol. So all of these are just very nourishing, very subtly brightening, restorative ingredients kind of like in a no fuss way. If you don't want any thoughts about like, is this going to irritate? You want something a little bit more subtle, but doing the most long term, I would say definitely give this a try. Okay, so moving right along to the last step of your skincare routine, if it's, I don't know, maybe <laughs> X, X nay the sunscreen, but you know, it's your sunscreen. <laughs> if it's at anyway. night time. So this, <laughs> yeah, this is the Ciara Stay With Me Day Cream. So they do have a night cream, but I just wanna say you can use day creams at night, no problem whatsoever. And this one has Omija fruit. Do you know what Omija is? I haven't heard about it since this. <laughs> I just Googled, they're magnolia berries and they're like little red berries and they look really similar to mistletoe. And on top of that, it's got one of my ultra favorite ingredients, calendula as well, that's sourced from Jeju. And it's also got a little bit of squalane. It's like a very lightweight moisturizer, but it does have that like slightly oily feeling because of the squalane. But as we know, squalane is very fast absorbing. So even though you put it on, it feels, you know, like very nice and spreadable and just like that really fresh smell from all the like ingredients. I think this would suit people who are more combination oily rather than like 
oily oily because I feel like if you're oily oily you want something more of a gel consistency that sinks in quicker so those are my top three picks from Ololi we do have a discount code for you guys who are interested you can search their web for all the other brands that we didn't cover these are just the ones that we were most interested in and very very pleasantly surprised so check it out um, below so the next section is renew <laughs> Is yours renew? So, renew? so we did like old, uh -huh. new, renew. Basically it's like ones that I've mentioned before but I've incorporated again. I have two and a half renews and one new new. Mine really quickly, the Legome as a brand, I just loved it so much. I forgot how amazing the cleanser is. And then the cream is just amazing. And I'll talk about the Neogen sunscreen. That's just so beautiful. And then the last thing will be the Iliune Ultra Repair Balm. Also amazing. What are you gonna talk about for a little preview? I'm gonna talk about the Laneige Cream Skin, which we've talked about, but <laughs> I busted it out again. The Cosarex Centella Aqua Soothing and the Sun By Me Mineral Calming Sunscreen. Nice. So let's first start with the Legome Celis Deep Moisture Cream. So we've talked about this before. The name means not too little, not too much. I think it's aligned with the whole Huga movement. Huga is a Huga. H Y G G E. Hoogie, hoogie, hooga. It's like the hooga movement. And in here, I remember when we did our live with Alicia Yoon from Peach and Lily, she talked about how there is a Nobel Prize winning ingredient. It's called like the Derma Flux. It helps deliver long lasting hydration into the cells of the skin rather than just like the outermost layer of the skin. So when she first told that to both of us, we're like, you can win Nobel Prizes for skincare? That's really, really awesome. So there's that. So this is technology. So in here, there's also yeast amino acids, which is really great for many, many things. It's like anti-aging, it helps firm, it helps reduce pore size or like the appearance of pore size. Also boost cell renewal as well as help fade discoloration. And there's also a lot of antioxidants in the form of green tea, as well as a very beautiful blend of oils. A lot of ingredients that you have in this cream, you also have in the cleanser, which is why I love the cleanser. The cleanser was formulated specifically for morning because when you go to sleep, you still kind of sweat a little so you get a little bit oily so in the morning you would want something that has a bit of oils to help remove the oils from overnight it kind of feels like a lighter weight version of aloe on your skin like it's so soothing it's so calming it's like water do you guys see how like it instantly just turned into water and then because you know how sometimes like when it's nighttime you're getting lazy you just want to skip a step I'll just put this directly on my face, massage it for a minute, and then wash it off. That's like the one and a half that I wanted to mention. And then the Neogen, where is it? This sunscreen, I would say it's very similar to the Dr. Wu in that it's very hydrating. And it even says that for people with more oily combo skin, you can use this actually as the last step of your routine in place of a moisturizer. Yeah, I really enjoy that one. I love that like very subtle scent. I think it's got like raspberry extract and rose or something. It doesn't feel like there's a layer of anything whatsoever. It is a joy to use. And I think when we talk about this all the time, when it comes to sunscreen, you want something that is a joy to use and a joy to apply because for something like sunscreen that may sometimes seem like a chore, if you can find yeah. one that you really love and appreciate, the formulation, the texture, the protection that it gives you, like antioxidant benefits and all that, then it is match made in heaven. And trust me, sunscreen was a chore for me, let me tell you. <laughs> very, very last thing that I'll go over really quickly is this Iliune Ultra Repair Lip Balm. A lot of brands have come out with new lip products, so we've been trying a bunch of them. There's this Fresh Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream. There's the Tatcha... Kisu. The Kisu Lip, <laughs> yeah. For both of the ones I just mentioned, they're very cosmetically elegant and they feel great and they look great when you first put it on. But for like an overnight treatment it's not like it doesn't do as much it's not enough it doesn't stay on no it doesn't stay like it doesn't really sink in as deeply as i would like 
The Iliun, on the other hand, it does exactly just that. In it, they have nice. a blend of hydrating oils and seed oils. There's shea butter, jojoba, squalane, argan kernel oil. It's like all the very light weight but heavy hitters are in here. So that's that. My last renewal of the three. So the Laneige Cream Skin, you know this has been like, Ro always talks about it, but I never really dabbled into it as much because I just like gel moisturizers. But I think because it's been so hot, it's been so humid, I'm trying to find ways to kind of streamline and just simplify everything. So I'll actually use a toner and sometimes go straight into this because it is a toner moisturizer. We've talked about how innovative Laneige is, you know, formulating this like experience of a product. It's just crazy because it's this very lightweight texture of toner that transforms into a moisturizer after like 15 to 20 seconds. And it leaves this very lightweight, like, um, like, uh, I don't want to say sticky, but lack of a better word, sticky. What they perfected is they got a moisturizer to turn into like a toner essence consistency, which is yeah, toner science. essence moisturizer. It's like two step done. If I was wow. really lazy, one step done. Clean your face, <laughs> put this on, you're good to go. Throw on some sunscreen if it's daytime. So it comes in a like spritz form. This is just the bottle form, and then. There's the Cosrx Centella Aqua Soothing. So what I love about this is that there's about 46% of the Centella water in here um, and it gives all the hydration without any irritation, especially for breakout prone skin. So sometimes when we break out, it's because we're not hydrated enough. And so our skin is trying to forcibly push sebum out, which then gets trapped under dead skin. As we said, an ampoule is a supercharged serum. So you can think of a very hydrating serum and more with this, with a very, very simple ingredient list. So they have other products in this line, but this is the first one I've tried and it's actually made me very excited to try the other ones. There's that. And then for the sunscreen, this is the Sun By Me. So this one, has tea tree, it's got Centella Asiatica, and it's a mineral sunscreen. But like the Neogen you were talking about, even though it does have the like more traditional white filter, it blends out and becomes invisible. How would you compare that to the Neogen? So that's the thing about sunscreens. I feel like it's all about the supporting supplementary ingredients. They all look the same on the face and feel very similar on the face, but I would choose this if I like tea tree and if I like centella and I want that in a sunscreen. For me, the sunscreen depends on mood. <laughs> so those are our old, new, renew. Yay! We're going to create a little Instagram post that you guys can like play along with us to see yes. which of these or Rowena's picks that you guys have tried or even if you want to try, leave it in the comments and we'd love to like discuss with you guys and share, you know, further reviews if you have more questions about any of these. If you have any products that you want us to comment on or you want us to try, please let us know because it is through you beautiful souls that we first came across Pyong Kong Yo like way back when and even some by me when you guys wanted us to review both of those brands. So if you guys have any mm -hmm. suggestions, leave them down below. We're always, we're always looking. But yeah, hope you guys are staying healthy, positive. Make sure you watch all our other videos. We know there's a lot because we think this is actually a really great time to reflect back inside, look at ourselves and improve when we can finally go out again. You know what I mean? <laughs> flutter, flutter. Oh, we'll probably be back in the studio very soon. So keep an eye out for that as well. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Ding. Ding ding. <laughs> ding 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 